Hey guys, what's going on? Darren Addison at TorpedoPot.com. Darren Addison at TorpedoPot.com. And see how quickly and simple it was for me to set up my garden. Now, I don't want to get too cocky because um, we're going to hit 20 degrees next week. And so I'm hoping that I can get these in the ground early enough so it won't impact them as much. We have, uh, now, oh well, let's tell you what we have first garlic chives. We have curl parsley. I'm gonna put some beets in here. It's all cool weather plants, okay? Kale, uh, curl parsley. This kale came back from last year. I don't do anything. It comes back on its own. Um, curl parsley, and I have some more garlic chives. I love garlic chives. This is broccoli, uh, and this is from last year. Kale, 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 and this is Scott's kale, vase kale, 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 and more kale. So. What I'm doing is that I'm transferring these pots over to the uh, to the fall season, and some of the kale might have to go. But right now, I'm going to let it stay in order for it to do its, do its job. But with the torpedo pot, you don't have... I can go in at any time and pull a plant out and put a new plant in. I don't have to wait and scare that it's going to die and not live. Once you create that great biotic environment in the soil, and the plant catches and realizes it's got a great home, then it's gonna be a lot of things you're gonna be able to do with that plant that uh, you would not normally do in the ground. Look at that broccoli. I didn't grow these. I didn't buy these from a, a dealer. I, I, we grew these last year. And now they're coming to a head at the beginning of this, this year and they look great. I just pulled them out of the planter and put them in this planter right here so they can get watering. I was gonna cut on the other planter, but I didn't feel like doing it. I just moved them over here and get them going. But of course this kale has been growing since uh, last year. I put these in as seeds. All the kale you see here has been put in as seeds. And they've taken, they come back. Except these vase kales, these vase kales right here, they were, they were brought in. But the rest of them were just, they done from seeds. I ate microgreens and I had some greens left over so I let them grow. And they grew into this kale right here. And it was so great for me because I don't have to go fighting looking for food. My food is right at my doorstep. I come outside and I can eat, pick, and choose whatever I want. Now it's gonna hit 20 degrees, like I said, next week, and uh, that's gonna be very, very devastating. But this is so beautiful. Will you look at that? That is cool. See the leaves in there, <laughs> let you know it's been around for a while. <laughs> yeah. Wow, that's amazing. It looks beautiful. I'm gonna fill up with soil. It looks healthy and strong, doesn't it? it? Sure does. I just put the uh the uh, curl parsley in. And hopefully, it'll, not hopefully, it should bounce back. That's that cold weather hits real hard. But otherwise, we're looking to do a lot of things with torpedo pine. And again, I can't tell you how beautiful your torpedo pine is. It is absolutely stunning. You're going to get the best food in the world from the torpedo pine. No other system can create such beautiful food. Why? This is all natural. It's purely organic. You don't have to worry about uh, uh, fertilizers or uh, synthetic fertilizers or man-made fertilizers. It's just all organic and natural to the environment. This is going to change everything. Everything as we know it. Torpedo Pot is a game changer. Dow Addison, torpedopot.com. Later, guys. Bye-bye.